When we're asked to solve an equation, the aim is to find a value for the letter n so that when we substitute it into that equation, it makes it work. In other words, makes the left hand side equal 21. So we're going to have a look at a moment in a process called backtracking. Before we do though, it might be wise to pause here and see if you can solve the equation for yourself. Okay, let's have a look at the process of backtracking and we do it by looking at the letter n first of all and asking ourselves what's happened to the letter n. So if we break it down part by part, we can see that initially the n is multiplied by 2. And then because we've got 2n minus 3 in brackets, the next thing we do is subtract 3 from that initial result. And the last thing that we're going to do is multiply by 3, so that the answer equals 21. In this case, our equation has one variable on one side of the equation, in other words, the letter n on the left-hand side of the equation, and that means that backtracking will be a suitable approach to solve this problem. Let's have a look at how it works. If we pretend that the first box on the left-hand side is the letter n, we applied three operations to the letter n, and they're shown with green arrows, and the result was 21. To solve this problem using backtracking, what we're going to do is have a look at things in reverse, hence the title backtracking. So the red arrows are going to represent the opposite operations to what we applied to the letter n. So now we go back to our equation and we ask ourselves, what's the first thing that happens to the letter n? We're going to multiply that by 2. And we show that above the first green arrow with a multiplication by 2. The next thing we do in the equation is to follow rule of order operations by doing what's in the bracket, and that's to subtract 3. And we show that above the second green arrow with a minus 3. And the last thing that we did was multiplied by 3. And that multiplication by 3 goes above the last green arrow. When doing this process, always keep in mind the operations that you're applying to the letter that you're trying to find. To solve this problem, we're going to do the opposite operations in the reverse order. So the last thing we did was to multiply by 3. The opposite of that is to divide by 3. So what we're going to do is put that operation below the last one we did, which was multiply by 3, but it's now next to the red arrow. And you can see that 21 divided by 3 as we move from right to left will equal 7. And 7 goes into the second last box. Now the next operation we performed was to subtract 3, remembering we're going in reverse now. Now the opposite of that is to add 3. So that operation will go below the next red arrow as we move from right to left. And 7 plus 3 equals 10. Going backwards, the last thing we did was multiply by 2. And the opposite of that is to divide by 2. And you'll notice that if you do 10 divided by 2, moving towards the last box on the left, we get a result of 5. So using this method, our solution is that n equals 5. Let's check that by going back to the original equation. So if n equals 5, we can see in the brackets that we've got 2 multiplied by 5 take 3. And that will give us a result of 10 take 3 in the brackets. And we can simplify that further by saying 10 take 3 is 7. And when we multiply that by 3, we get an answer of 21. So we have solved the problem correctly using the backtracking method to get an answer of n equals 5.